Hey, good morning, Luke. Oh, what's up, dad nerd? <sighs> Luke, you know I don't like when you call us that. Us? What do you mean by us? My dude, our bro here has told me some great things about you. He ain't my bro, bro. And who the heck are you? Oh, me? I'm the new data engineer to the team. I'm stoked to meet you. Um, we got a new data engineer on our team? Didn't you read the memo from our manager? No. I've been too busy. I've been trying to fix the data that's going to management's Power BI dashboard for yet another KPI that they want to add. Unlike you, who's just been performing random testing all day. Luke, I told you it's random forest classification and testing. It's actually a very popular ensemble machine learning method that uses decision- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Decision trees within a random forest. How clever. Either way, your testing failed. Well, they didn't fail per se. It just failed to reject the null hypothesis. Well, whatever that p-value was that management was talking about, they weren't happy. Um, hey my dudes, I'm, uh, I'm still here. Oh, sorry. So, what are you doing in the closet? Better yet, what do you say you do here? I like data engineer things. He builds data pipelines for us. He's basically like a plumber of data science. Yeah, totally. If you think of data like water, I basically build systems that pipe you clean quality water from a dirty source. Yeah. And then we use the water to make things like lemonade. Metaphorically, of course. I've tasted what you've made before, and it definitely wasn't lemonade. So, what do you use to build these data pipelines? Yeah, typically I use some sort of workflow orchestration tool, like Airflow, to manage ETL processes with both Python and SQL, all within a continuous integration and continuous deployment framework on the cloud. Although I'm currently building a better version of Airflow, but what data engineer isn't? So you're actually useful. Unlike this guy that can't even get machine learning models into production. Oh yeah, I can also do that. Guys, sorry to interrupt, but I can't figure out what picture of my favorite YouTuber to put up. Don't you think it's a bit creepy that you have framed pictures of people you don't know in real life? I think they're both great, but I'm partial to Sentex. Okay, hold up data engineer. So you know more in-demand skills than most data nerds, and your job is currently in higher demand, but looking on pay scale, you make less than this guy? Yeah, basically. So, um, can you help me build a data pipeline? Um, what's it on? Yeah, we just need to overhaul how this current dashboard's getting data. Basically, we need to scrape a bunch of job search data from the internet. Web scraping is my jam. Heck yeah. Guys, I've decided. I like both exactly equal, so both of them are going up. So you use Python, right? Yeah, what's up? So, quick question to settle a debate. Tabs versus spaces in Python. Everybody knows it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I told you. Did we just become best friends? Yep. So how long do you think to get this data pipeline? Six months, minimum. What the fuck? Data nerds, Luke here. I wanna give a special shout out and thanks everybody as we reach this milestone of 100,000 subscribers. With that, Coursera has graciously sponsored a giveaway, which I have more details in the description below, so make sure that you check it out. And with that, thanks to Coursera, but also more importantly, thanks everybody out there that continues to support the channel. Bro, I told you before, we're not hanging pictures of Canantina. It's creepy AF. Hey, so, um, sorry what I said earlier. That's really nice of you. So, um, with how long that that engineer is gonna take to build this pipeline, do you think you could just help me build it?